we wandered back to The Wandering Goose, a southern flair cafe in Seattle's Capitol Hill. This restaurant has heavenly baked goods and hearty southern dishes. Owner and chef Heather Earnhardt enjoys being able to incorporate fresh and local Northwest ingredients into her southern recipes. There's so much that is grown here that I was surprised when I first moved here. Like collard greens grow really well yeah. in Eastern Washington. Okra, apples and stone fruits and yeah. cherries and all this crazy stuff. Like cherries don't grow in North Carolina. So it's like <laughs> yeah, it's nice like... to incorporate the Washington ingredients, you know, with making Southern food. Mm -hmm. It's cool. So what are we gonna make today? What do I get to make with so you? So we're gonna do biscuits and then mushroom gravy. So I figured we'd do something um, with mushrooms that are grown just right outside of yeah. Olympia. And some of your delicious biscuits. Yeah. Okay. You get to make biscuits I today. Like it. <laughs> <laughs> so we have some biscuit flour here. It's biscuit flour. It's just a softer, if you feel it, it's a little softer. Oh, it's um, really soft, yeah. From a winter wheat, so it, it really makes the biscuits light and fluffy. We pour in our biscuit flour and then add some baking powder, baking soda, and a little bit of sugar. Some people say no sugar at all, but I like a little bit and then some, some kosher salt. salt. Okay. And then we're gonna turn the mixer on, put it on low, and then you wanna add the butter. After the butter is mixed in, we add some buttermilk. Heather tells me the trick for a perfect biscuit is to not over mix. My granny used to say it was, if you mix a biscuit 11 times, it's 10 times too many. <laughs> so when our dough is perfectly mixed, we lay it out and press it. If you really want, light and fluffy. yeah, you see all light. Yeah. It's now time to cut our dough into biscuits. So we dip it in flour, and then the trick is not to twist it when you press it down. Okay. So you just want to go straight Shit. down. Because no if you twist it, it's going to seal the sides, and they're not going to rise as high. Oh. So I'm going to let you cut those. I give Heather's technique a try. You're not twisting. I'm not right? twisting. <laughs> I am. Whoop, I did a little twist there. <laughs> Next, I butter the top of our biscuits. That one's going to have a lot of butter. Don't on get it. on your shirt. So I'm used that to getting dirty. Extra buttery. Yeah. Once the biscuits are buttered, we throw them in the oven and head over to make our mushroom gravy. Okay, so we have step one of our biscuits and gravy in the oven. Yep. Now biscuits we have to do in the oven. step two, which is actually make the mushroom, mushroom gravy. gravy. Okay. Yeah. And we have our beautiful bowl of Washington grown mushrooms. These are um, grown right down in Olympia. That's um, awesome. From a family run business that's been growing mushrooms since the 30s. Our gravy needed some prep work, which Heather already did for us. She made a stock with the gills of some portobellos and then roasted a batch of cremini mushrooms until they were golden and full of flavor. Now we're prepped and ready to start the mushroom magic. We start by making a roux with olive oil, butter, and flour. And you can't have a gravy without a roux. No, you can't. You can try, but it won't work. <laughs> <laughs> it won't work. After our roux has some color, Heather adds two cups of whole milk and our mushroom stock. There's so many gravies that are like pale and yeah. plain. Like you don't want it to taste like flour, it's gonna taste like something. We add our roasted mushrooms with some hot sauce, Worcestershire, herbs, and lemon zest to give our gravy some flavor. We let it thicken for a few minutes while we get our biscuits out of the oven. That. Good job! Those are nice. <laughs> we just we serve a whole biscuit and we do it open face. Awesome. I'm just gonna keep eating the crumbs. See all the herbs wow. in there? Yeah. I can't wait to dig into our dish. Mmm. Mm. Isn't that good? That is delicious. I forgot how oh. good it was. I haven't had it in a while. This is satisfying. You know? Yeah. Super. You get that meaty yeah, mushroom. You do. Mm-mm. -mm. To get the recipe to the Wandering Goose's biscuits and mushroom gravy, head over to wagrown.com.